Hello YouTube, Jarfbrix here with another update. This time I will be updating you on part two of the Ace Chemicals Lab. When I showed you last time, I'd done most of the work on the outside and uh, I'd done the ground floor. Well, now I've done some extra work on the outside and I've done the first floor as well. So just showing you some of the details I've put on the outside before we go in is uh, just put some um, solar panels and air conditioning unit and then this uh, little device just slides in there i was going to put it an extra big brick higher so it'd be embedded into it but it just looked too much gray and i could have put some details on the outside just to uh, um, change that up a little bit make it look a little bit nicer but i just thought it, it stood out too much um for and didn't really go with the rest of the building i suppose but Hey ho, that's, it is what it is. And then um, I've just put some air conditioning units, uh, sorry, um, air conditioning vents that's attached to the unit on the roof. And these are just uh, connected by some studs. I had to cut this piece here just to make it uh, a little smaller. And the off cut is now there. So it worked well connecting all these whatever these things are supposed to be doing. Uh, I've also uh, just put a dial on this one down here. And then um, these are just lots of bars that are connected together, clipped together. And I've just used the steering wheel for the, um, uh, what are they called? Speed Champion Racers cars, just as, as um, pressure valves for it. The containers came so I could put all of these um, uh, chemicals for the finished product ready to be shipped and sold in shops and just put one of those extra stickers on there just for for effect it's one waiting in the doorway to be picked up a quite a large order than the rest so let's go on the inside so you saw the ground floor before with the vat of chemicals uh, on the surface and I was missing some luminous studs, but I managed to get them. And no um, Ace Chemicals Lab is complete without Batman and the Red Hood fighting on a balcony for the Red Hood to fall into the vat of chemicals for him to become the Joker. So really pleased with uh, the way that turned out. Um, I like the, I was trying to make it so that uh, I could have these and I've just put them on um, ball joints just so it looks like it's in the middle of falling or breaking should I say well, and then falling I've just disconnected it there you go um, and then yeah I just wanted to have it as if the uh, the night shift has come and production has just put, paused for the night so you've got some empties which are coming along the conveyor belts and being filled up here and then they can turn into dark blue ready to be shipped some members of staff have already boxed some and taking it over to the lift um, to go down and then it will come down in that one there and then be shipped outside so it's all very functional really pleased with the way that that turned out let me just see if I can get the other side of that machine I'll leave it there you can just see all of the um, devices dials and things that come from that it's a bit blurry let me focus in there you go so really pleased with how that turned out now the idea that I um, did this was so that with lots of windows and leaving it open backed that when it's in its position you'll still be able to see everything Let's see if that has transpired. There she is, next to the cup factory. Really pleased with the, the way it's turned out. Um, this corner is coming along nicely. We've got this little corner here in the road. So I've just got to get um, a tile, four by four gray tile, just to connect those two roads together. Um, although that is a little bit lower because this is on a, um, a 48 by 48 base plate so you've got just the base plates thickness um, higher here so it's just very slightly so I'll just be getting some glazing packers 
uh, and just sliding it under there. Um, if you want to know more about the glazing packers, if you go to London Bridge Bricks, he will explain that procedure a lot completely. So saves me just repeating what he's already said. Um, and then um, here is going to be the docks. So I've made a little bit of a start on it. I want to have a building here and then the docks come round. So here's what I have done so far. So the road will continue up and then just going to have the bit of the barrier. Um, you've got the docks sign which is going to go somewhere uh, like that. It's just uh, I'm going to have like a little bit of security gate there and this is going to be like an old fashioned building and then inside just a bit of a, a yard where they keep their important belongings and it's just going to have a doorway here uh, similar to that one so it's a raised raised it uh, two bricks high this time instead of one like I did over there um, and then just going to be then the, what the uh, the pallet truck will just take it straight off the step so that's the idea anyway we'll see how it goes it's a lot lot smaller than the previous docks but I think it can still work we'll see we'll see how it works then coming over to this side you've got um, a space for one base plate and that is going to be the newspapers where they print all of the newspapers so you're just going to have a floor for all the um, reporters that are writing stuff down and a floor for all of the uh, printing work that's being done so uh, that's going to be slim, similar size to these i think it'll look quite nice and you've just got the three buildings in that corner uh, then the uh, printery and then i've probably switched those round so that the tuning garage is next to it just so you've got a gradual decline of the bigger buildings to the smaller ones as you go down so really pleased with the way this corner is taking shape so let me know if you liked the ace chemicals building the color in contrast with the buildings around it the, the one building around it and um, i will see you on our next update whenever that is so thank you for watching and goodbye